Hello guys, it's Apple Tips and Tricks here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a free VPN on your Mac. First thing I'm going to do is open up your web browser. I'm just going to open up Firefox and you can search for free VPN or anything like that but I'm just going to enter in PPTP VPN free. Alright, and you'll get a few results here. I'm just going to use the second one here called vpnbook.com. You can see I've already used it. So I know it works but there's Hundreds of other ones you can try if this doesn't work well for you. Anyway, just click on this, and here we'll be presented with the site. Also, if you don't know what PPTP stands for, it stands for Point to Point Tunneling Protocol. Um, just thought I'd put that out there for you guys. Um, once you're in here, you can click on Free VPN in the header at the top here. Just click on that. And we want to use this one on the side Free PP. TP VPN. Sorry about all these acronyms. Must, uh, I know it gets kind of confusing and they are hard to say, so I hope I don't lose you guys anywhere. But anyway, there's a description about it here, but we don't need to listen to that really. Um, so here's all the important information that we need. Next thing you're going to do is open up your system preferences. So you can do that by typing, it, typing in system and spotlight in the top and clicking on the first result. Now you want to go onto Network, which is an in Internet and Wireless tab. Okay, here's where it starts getting a little bit technical, but it is really easy to follow. Okay, you just want to click the plus here. And in the interface, you want to go down and change it to VPN. In the service name, oh, sorry, in the VPN type, you want to change it to PPTP. Okay, in the service name, you can call it whatever you want, so I'll just call it VPN. Now you press create. Alright, and in here we'll have a few fields we can fill out. We've got what we need to use over here, so this bit here is what I'm going to use as the server address, euro195.vpnbook.com. You can use any of these here, and it's got some notes on some of them saying UK VPN optimized for fast web surfing, but no P2P downloading, no peer-to-peer -peer downloading. And this one's based in US, so you can just choose from there what you want, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using the top one to keep it simple. So I'll just enter in exactly what you can see on the left here, euro195.vpnbook.com. Then for the account name, you want to use the username shown here. So that's just vpnbook. Okay, you're not done yet, you want to click authentication settings and copy and paste this password. I'm just going to paste it into the top here first, make sure it's right, yep, that's all fine. Back into System Preferences and pasting it in. Now you press OK. OK, all the details are now filled, so you can just press Connect. And then you just go Apply. You see it's connecting, it says connecting here and it's got the little turning wheel. And connected. So if you don't get connected, you might have entered the password or the username wrong or got the server address slightly wrong or the server alternatively could be down so just try another one here or try a different site to begin with there's one more thing you can do now and that is click on advanced and go send all traffic over VPN connection this means everything you do will go through the VPN um, I hope you guys like this video if you have any problems with it just comment and I'll be sure to help you out. All the links I use will be in the description. And yeah, it's really as simple as that. Get your information from the site, copy it through into here, press connect, and if you want it for everything, just go into advanced and choose send all traffic through VPN. Thanks, guys.